Hi guys, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Neo 7x14 NAMR. That would be a Neo aluminum motorcycle round top, or at least I would assume that all adds up. 7x14 with the Venos, you're going to get another three foot or more of space. This is a very deep Venos, we'll show you in a little bit. But it is a 714, weighs in about 1740 pounds. And we're going to show you around the trailer. Now, this trailer is stock except for the wall liner I'm going to show you inside. So everything you see here, the two-tone, the swirly stone guard, the round top with the slant nose, screwless exterior, all that stuff's going to be standard. There's only one thing on this trailer I think ought to be standard, and that'd be aluminum wheels. We carry a pretty large selection of aluminum wheels here, so we leave them off, and the customer, if you choose to do so, can pick uh, from those uh, on purchase but again 714 neo namr let's take a look at this one so i believe this has a uh standard height which it does that would be 74 for 74 inches so this is a six foot inside height unit again 5260 is your payload giving you a 1740 empty weight that all does not count the tongue weight as well you're going to pick up more legal weight Although I would contend if you're hauling that much weight in this trailer, you might be better suited for a steel trailer. But anyway, again, slant nose standard, it's a round top. So a round top V-nose slant, very, very difficult to manufacture. Neo's one of, if not the only ones that do this. I'm sure there's probably a few others. I've just not seen them. They do the swirly stone guard up front. That's partly uh, because Neo's got a lot of manufacturing equipment in-house. They've got uh, tubing benders and CNC's and uh, uncoilers, all kinds of neat equipment. They're able to do some stuff you wouldn't normally see. That stone guard would be one of them. Another big one that we like would be this integrated frame. So you've got a tongue and a mainframe. So the way this would normally work on a jig, you would have your tongue and then your mainframe and you would mate the tongue underneath to it. The integrated frame, I'll show you in a second, is a lot stronger setup. It's also a little bit sleeker. So if you look down the side, you don't have that one inch trim that's kind of coming away from the trailer a little bit and whatnot. It's a nice sleek look. All you got is the J trim at the bottom and your aluminum terminates. Up front, you've got your weather resistant jack and coupler. Of course, your safety chains. They use a sealed wiring harness. Okay, so this is an 030 semi, I'm sorry, this would be a full screwless exterior, 030. Your Neo badging. Now one thing, those side flow through vents, uh, they're plastic, we do a lot with that. You can also get them in aluminum. They use a clear lens LED light standard. Neo does a mixture of TIG and MIG welding. If you're not familiar, that would be a TIG weld. TIG weld's a little bit cleaner, nicer. You see that on your high-end trailers. Normally, if a manufacturer does some steel and some aluminum trailers, they probably don't mess with TIG. That's more for a little bit better precision, certainly a nicer, cleaner weld. Neo does a mixture of TIG and MIG. We'll show you some of both. Radial tires standard. They're using 3,500-pound Dexter axles, easy loop hubs, forward adjusting brakes. They've got the uh, standard two-tone. There's some other different designs. Neo's got an excellent tool on their website that you can design. Uh, different color schemes and different uh, dividers. This is something else they do. Instead of the standard steel um, uh, steel units, they make their own aluminum jack stands in-house. Not only do they look a lot better, but they're also a lot more functional. Traditional jacks, if you're not familiar, are going to mount underneath. They're going to swivel. And where they swivel, you got a hinge point issue right about there that's a weak spot. With these, these are box tube. <coughs> two by two tube. They recess up in, look neat. These can be added to nearly any trailer with a matter of, uh, I believe, eight, basically eight trim screws. Work pretty well. Also, one thing we like about Neo is they use a Teflon hinge. It doesn't ever need serviced. Uh, we've seen some hinges that aren't serviceable, some that have a grease dirt. This, this is a really neat concept they've got. Again, pretty clean welds compared to some of what we've seen in the industry there's some more of your tig welds so again we like neo they're not going to be the cheapest aluminum on the trailer they're certainly not the most expensive either we think they're a good value they trim out the rear ramp door here you see they've got the aluminum grab handle instead of plastic here they're using a stainless steel nxp 
ramp door handle that's all standard one thing we like is that's got a, a bar in there that basically pries that door shut you get a very tight seal on the ramp door <laughs> we were once asked by a college and i won't name which college about what trailer seals the tightest because they had bug bed bug issues and they needed to uh to uh a trailer that would seal all the stuff up tight and uh never been asked that question but we suggested maybe a neo because they do seal very tight the uh back bar there that i was mentioning earlier basically pries that door nice and tight get a nice tight seal so we got the uh, ramp flap extension you'll notice there's no hinges on that simply or no hinges on the the ramp just on the outside <laughs> pretty slick idea they've got what they call the grip tread runners on the ramp door give you traction going up this is a nice idea as well this is what we call airline track this is routed and recessed <coughs> into the trailer floor now this aluminum tracking is very nice but it's also very expensive so what they do on these they router it in they put sections so you got a lot of different tie down points now also whenever this first came out a couple years ago i was kind of wondering about it but it makes a lot of sense the floor cross members run perpendicular to the trailer so guess what they used to put two in now they're putting three in certainly the ones more than enough for anything you're going to be tying down to it because keep in mind those floor supports are a two by three box tube floor stud two wheel trucks come standard as this is the bike trailer white vinyl walls are an option standard on these would be a kick plate a 12 inch kick plate at the bottom you can get regular plywood walls or you can also get uh, white vinyl like this breakaway battery and box are inside the trailer again you do get two standard wheel trucks notice up top the square box on this is about 14 and then there's your slant venos and how that all comes together i've seen their jig at the plant it is very impressive it's a lot of work to get that slant venos right inside here you've got a dome light with a wall switch it's a newer style dome light two thin strips on that side notice they also do the white cove gives it a nice finished look at the top of course behind that you're going to have your wiring Let's take a look back at the roof. This is a 16 inch on center. It's a box tube roof stud. They also do a box tube wall stud. So this has a 16 inch on center wall. <coughs> you can get these in different sizes. 12, 14, and 16 seem to be the most common. Because of how deep the Venos is, sometimes people tend to shy a little bit smaller than they might if it were a traditional trailer. Uh, their Venos on this is somewhere in the neighborhood of 39 inches, if I remember correctly. It's over three foot of usable space. It's a deceivingly long nose. Side door on this has an aluminum door hold back. You also notice this is an RV style door, not the slightly less appealing strap hinge door face of the door has got an aluminum face gives it a nice look the RV handle if you're not familiar you can lock from the inside or the outside so you've got a deadbolt lock and then you've also got your camper style lock so let's take a quick peek underneath the trailer so this is the Neo integrated frame there's a lot of extra work in cutting those angles but it makes for a lot nicer job Again, if Neo didn't have all this equipment in-house, they probably would build a trailer like everybody else, but with the equipment they've got, they make short work of building a much more complicated trailer. You also notice the floor studs on these are two by three box tube. I've seen channel, I've seen angle. We've also seen one by two tube. This is one of the heavier floor supports we've seen in the industry. Of course, there you see your Dexter axles. Folks, this is a 7x14 Neo NAMR. Again, does come in a handful of other sizes. Check our website for additional units that we've got in stock at bestchoicetrailers.com. You can also give us a ring at 717-220-4220 if you have any questions. Thanks for looking.